Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'll get that mouse pointer off the screen. A terrible run on the last run, I apologize. Largely that was my own idiocy, but now we're a Zazel. And if I throw this one, I'll have to give up the game forever. NCFC, nice chain, Far Cry, AX, A4, also, Xavier Anderson 420 Blaze it. I don't know. Some some of these are more conducive to to jokes than others. I don't mind taking that half black card just to see if we got something of value in there. What's our deal, Pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. I I actually almost hope we don't get an orbital on this one so that I'm not tempted to do the same bullshit I did last time. Book of Secrets. As I recall, the most wonderful reindeer of all. Book of Secrets is. It, it uses one of the, ooh, that's insanely good right off the bat. Uh, really, really incredible luck. I'm not sure if Azazel's shots actually generate flies with Guppy, but either way, I would love to become Guppy for a multitude of different reasons. And that was basically an HP upgrade plus nine lives, which is ridiculous. Anyway, Book of Secrets uses a random uh, map effect every time you use it. Sometimes blue map, sometimes regular map, and sometimes compass. Oh, I didn't charge that shot in time. Um, it's an okay item. I tend to think that it's maybe a little outclassed by most of the other books, considering you can get the same effect from it uh, from a variety of items that are very easily picked up in the shop. And even, like, the best possible outcome from them is not fantastic. A shot speed down means nothing as a Zazel. HP plus tears up means a lot. We should have an extremely good chance of getting a deal with the devil here. And this run is already uh, kind of rolling, which is fantastic. You don't need to cancel your shots as a Zazel, but it is uh, a way to speed things up a little bit if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. We have the keys necessary to do what needs to be done here. I think, you know, short of calling this a one run already, we're in a, uh, a fantastic position. If we can get a deal with the devil and become Guppy right off the bat, Again, I don't really know if that allows us to actually generate flies. I don't mind this room being over a little bit faster as a result of that. Uh, I don't know if that actually does give us uh, the fly benefit, but at least we can cross that off our bucket list. I'm actually glad I came to this room. At first I was like, why would I come to this room? And then immediately after I was like, all right, that makes sense. We'll use Mr. Boom here. I'm not doing a speed run or anything here, but I would like to do boss rush because we start with the fool card. And um, I'll keep Book of Secrets with us. I don't expect Book of Secrets to really be that integral into our success, but maybe we can replace it with a better space bar item in just a second in our deal with the devil. Gemini! That one's Gemini. Alright. Gemini is very good, actually. Especially because I have a pretty terrible track record right now of uh, getting way too close to enemies and having them explode in my face. So if Gemini can do that instead, I would appreciate it. We could maybe buy a spirit heart from our shop. I don't think that's that integral. Two and a half minutes here, fighting the Widow. The boss that I believe on the first two floors has the lowest amount of HP. Blighted Oval might be slightly lower, but I think the Widow is the lowest, if I remember correctly. Three HP gives us a huge base with which to draw from. We're going to take them both. This is insane. And now, I know we said we weren't doing a speed run. We might do a speed run now, because this is actually sort of absurd. I don't know what my best run ever is. I think I've done, uh, I've done Azazel runs in under 15 minutes. So you know what? This is speed run territory. I don't think we're gonna set any records. I know on a seated, uh, on a seated Azazel run, B Rex won. Uh, yes, yes, no. Uh, on a seated Azazel run, Bananasaurus Rex won in uh, four minutes, three minutes, somewhere in that range. So we're a little bit already maybe outside of it, and that's beating the chest, by the way. I know, he's a ridiculous man. Please pop up. I'm on a speed run. Haven't you heard? Haven't you heard? The world record is the word. I said a word. No. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to item rooms and shops as they appear. But rest assured, if you're the kind of person that gets frustrated without seeing like min maxi type play in rebirth, this is going to be the most frustrating run that you will have ever seen because I am not going to be min maxing at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm gonna be sacrificing a lot of good stuff in order to try to get the fastest time that I've ever had. You don't get many opportunities like this, so I'm gonna take the opportunities as they come. I don't give a shit about Demon Baby at all, so I don't worry about this. We're gonna definitely take an item from our boss rush room, and the speed is real. Book of Secrets is gonna help us find the boss pretty quickly, which I appreciate. The only thing 
conceivably that could help us go even faster than that would be if we were able to pick up Blank Card Emperor. That would be awesome. I don't think we need to go to this double key room. And I don't think we need to go to this room. Uh, there's three red chests, so I will. Just in case we get into a deal with the devil or get closer to becoming Guppy. One hell of a troll bomb combination there. What about our pills? Luck down. That's not a good one. Health up. That is a good one. And we can totally replenish our HP if we want to. Good stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna aim. It's gonna sound ridiculous right now. Let's keep our map up here. Can't see shit though. Um, I'm gonna aim for 12 minutes. It might not be as ridiculous as it sounds, and I mean that sincerely. I'm gonna assume that our boss is down here on the left side. Um, it might not be as ridiculous as, as ridiculous as it sounds. It might be. How did you get all the way over there so quickly? Blue baby. Well, it, it, blue baby if we respawn at least. Um, I think 12 minutes is doable. I would be happy with it. We've had some like 20 minute, 24 minute runs recently. But things will especially start to move quickly if we can pick up some shop items or something like that. But for now, good stuff. Every single room is falling quickly. I don't know if there's a, a agreed upon record for Rebirth yet. B-Rex's three minute run is just bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good, but he's not human, so we can't really count it, you know? Well, that'll make good uh, fodder for our shop on the next run. On the next floor, I should say. Because we're not doing shit with it on this one. You are dead. Deal with the devil, please. Okay. Little chat, I'll appreciate it. Uh, maybe some free guppy items, or maybe just go fuck myself. No teleports. Tears down. That hurts a little bit. This floor kind of sucked. But if we die, we'll respawn as Blue Baby, which could be very meaningful. This is Depths 1. Necropolis XL, okay, that's that's actually maybe better if we can find our boss right away, which is conceivable as a result of the fact... I've got to internalize the fact that we can stay far, far away uh, from our enemies because we have Brimstone, not Azazel's Brimstone. But Book of Secrets could allow us to find our boss very quickly, which would obviously be a huge asset for us right now. <laughs> huge asset. All right, where are we going? We don't know yet. We know where the secret rooms are, though. Or we know where one of the secret rooms is. Attack fly. You know, it might not make up for the time that I spent getting it, but that's all right. Range upgrade. We don't have... Uh... I know there's a secret room there, by the way. Can't can't be ours. Uh, I know that we have a... Uh... Range upgrades affect us as a Zazel, but... That might not matter. Those, those are not red chests, so... I'm, I'm pretty sure Brimstone has infinite range. In fact, I'm like 100% confident. My brain is being shattered by the speed runnage right now. Oh, the, the breaking the land speed barrier here. The land speed barrier is not anything. Also, don't go talking to people about the land speed barrier. They're going to think you're as big of an idiot as I am. Anarchist Cookbook sucks the big one. However, we will have Book of Secrets back in a second. Are you gonna... I knew you were gonna do that, you dirty dog. This is probably the right way. We're gonna have two bosses, then our boss rush room, then we're gonna teleport out. Look, 12 minutes might seem optimistic, 12 minutes might be optimistic, but I'm an optimistic person. Don't... Get out of there, I don't care. We can come back for it later if we want to. Go spend some money for no reason. Come back and ask for more. This run goes out to DJ Khaled for his number one hit record in the Bahamas. We may need those keys at some point, but let's just assume that we won't. That makes the pain a little easier to deal with. The Emperor card. So that's something we'll take after we leave this floor, and hopefully we'll get an XL floor on the next area. Adversary, huh? You're not really that big of a concern. What is that sweet M. Bison move you did right there? I'm actually very impressed, adversary. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. Thank you for the HP. All right, mom. Drop the fucking foot, mom. You're making this shit take far too long. There we go. One more hit should do it. No deal with the devil. We'll take the Polaroid. We're at eight minutes. We're running out of time. I will take Spider Bite. I will fool card out of here. Let's get going back to where we need to go. Is this the right way? This is the right way. Okay. 
I can't believe we got to go to both item rooms and our shop on this floor. Oh, no! Well, I blew it. Look, let's shoot for 13 minutes. This is not your average Azazel run. Wow. 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 And we could still lose it, and I would feel like a goddamn fool if we did, but it is still theoretically possible. Um, we want to make sure we're taking this Emperor card with us. I can't help but feel that this speedrun is getting slower and slower as time goes on. XL floor. XL. Egg salad. Cellar egg salad, please. Not cellar. Womb egg salad. Ooh, you do row one. Alright, that's fine. We're still gonna pop it right away. Because we can get a deal with the devil here that'll speed us up for future floors. This might not be the soundest reasoning of all time, but we still have a book of secrets charge as well. What's our deal with the devil? Uh, contract from below. Yes, Judas' is shadow in case we die, but it makes us more likely to die. Who cares? Let's do it. Down to the next floor. 11 lives. This might be close to the most I've ever had. What are we at now? 851. All right. Nope. <laughs> They're okay. Well, and if you're going to find dead ends, finding them early helps. I do expect that this is going to be a run where we're going to die. So get don't get your hopes up for... You know, this life. It's about the collective lives. It's not about this life. Hurry up, you freaking... Oh, it's a mini-boss. I don't want to fight a mini-boss. I appreciate the helpful explosions there. You don't always get those. No cards. We're leaving. Alright, Book, Book of Secrets is ready. You're not dead yet. Okay, let's do this. Mom's heart, we gotta kill without getting hit. Oh, this room. Slow and annoying. Good stuff. There's like seven. Six. Okay, we don't need the keys. We probably need the keys. Let's go. No, don't even try it. You be. I asked for... You said you'd get me some chocolate milk and you didn't. That makes you a liar. Okay, no. Here we go again. Is this where it all comes crashing down? What did I say? I'm shooting for 12 minutes? It's actually conceivable that we make that. What I really don't want is to respawn as any other character. Even though we picked up the items that make us respawn as other characters. I should have thought about that, I suppose. Don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. How did that go wrong? The freaking bullets were still on the screen when I feel that they should not have been still on the screen. Get your shit bullets off the screen, mom. And get your nub out of here, okay? This is why nine lives is so good. As long as we recognize that there's like no risk of us uh, actually throwing this completely, it allows us a lot of freedom. Curse of the unknown. We <laughs> we don't really need to know how much HP we have. It's on a need to know basis. Good. One hits enough to kill you. That's all that really matters. Attack fly finishing the job. They're much appreciated. I would say 12 minutes is probably optimistic. 13 is maybe conceivable. Is there a tinted rock back there? Oh, this tarot card. Emperor. Emp e roar. I am Emp. Hear me roar. What do you got? Ah, Joker. Hey! <laughs> there is a tinted rock, by the way. Let's take this Joker card. I don't know. Maybe it'll give us the shovel or something ridiculous. Slowing us down a little bit. Oh, that was not a good use of my company resources there. Boss room is over there. All right. We do have a full reroll room. That's a shame because Lump of Coal could have been amazing for us. But, you know, maybe by dying we actually saved a little bit of time. Good. I like these rooms. The thing that makes me very slightly nervous is that we don't know how many lives we have left. I mean that I mean that very slightly nervous thing. On the, like, legitimately, by the way. Emperor. 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 Devil. Pretty good. Let's pop it right away. I don't want to do this fight twice. Wow. Why, why do I not know about that shot? It's like if you do too much damage to Isaac, he does some bullshit attack I've never seen before. Actually, the, the truth of the matter is I shouldn't have been at the bottom of the screen during that. Any other area would have been totally fall. Okay. Okay. This is where it gets bad. 
But hey, you gotta, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. In fact, that's kind of the whole fucking point of an omelet, sort of. What a dumb expression. This is why you should always, if you've got nine lives or multiple lives, you should always save, like, a devil card or a book of Belial until you're, like, halfway through the fight, so you know that your investment is slightly protected. No, oh, we can do it, we can do it. Good stuff. No, Gemini? You don't need to be here right now. 13 minutes is very optimistic. I think we're looking at about 15 on the, the good side. Which is actually not really that fast in the whole scheme of things. I think if we'd gone slower, we might have been actually been able to go faster, you know? If you know what I mean? It seems sounds like it makes no sense, but you probably get the idea. If we'd gone slower, we could have gone faster. Who knows? Like a proptosis pickup in an item room would have sorted this right out for us. Libra. D6. Okay, well... Tell you what, we're gonna get an Emperor card, so I don't care about anything else. Oh, the Fool! That's uh, lovely. Um, we're gonna reroll these two bad boys right here. Sure. There's our boss room on the right side. At least we know what side it's on. I feel like Libra has made me a lot slower. And maybe substantially weaker as well. I feel like Libra... Might have made me into a little bit of a fuckboy here. I don't know what that means. I apologize if it's offensive. I just said it because I hear other people saying it. I want to, you know, I'm I'm sensitive about the fact that I'm getting a little older. I can't keep up with the parlance of um, of younger people these days. So people say these words, and I uh, I want to fit in, and sometimes I get myself in trouble saying them. Our damage got screwed by Libra there, but we still have Brimstone. We'll always have Brimstone. So this is going to end up being like a 16 minute run, which is actually slower than some runs that I've done as Azazel in the past. Which, believe you me, I almost would have rather just had like a normal Azazel run here. But if we come out with a win, it doesn't really matter. The real problem is going to be if I start to take some dumb deaths, you know, end up uh, having to respawn as like Judas or Judas, uh, Dark Judas, I guess, or Blue Baby. You got something for me? Dub Judge? Look, I know it's a speed run. I know. I know. I need the item, though. Judgment. Judgment! Mom's coin purse! What am I supposed to do about this? Tears downgrades. Tele- Oh, yeah. Teleport me to the other side of the freaking map. Why don't you? You did. That's why you don't, because you already freaking did. Alright. Well, we better get an Emperor card here. That's all I can say. Well, I actually appreciate the lard pickup. Well, we only have to do one extra room here. Mm, that's not good. Well, this run could have gone differently. <laughs> I mean, I still feel pretty good about it. We're 15 minutes in. We're probably going to win. And it's a little ridiculous. So I appreciate that. Oh, placenta. Thank you. I shouldn't have picked up that other one. The fool? What is this shit? Speed down. Oh, good. Yeah, lovely. Should have used the fool card to teleport back, but I don't think I had. I think I left it on this room. Oh, I don't like this. Dodged all the scythes, much to my surprise. Woo, those are some straight up bomb flies. What do you think this is? The freaking Satan fight? You think this is Shoal? It's not Shoal. We're going to finish this shit in like 20 minutes, and that's not even noteworthy. That's the Northern Lion story. If I had not gone for a speedrun, it would have been faster. Abaddon Brimstone was a no-brainer pickup either way, but... What an annoyance. We have 99 bombs, so we might as well throw some down, even if they don't hit any enemies. You know, it's kind of like an intimidation thing, right? There we go. See, he got intimidated to death. We got a D6, so we can go back and reroll some stuff, but at this point, I kind of just want this. It's not really a nightmare. I mean, it's a good run, but I kind of want it to be over nonetheless just because of the ridiculousness factor. Hopefully, Placenta gives us some extra HP. Because if we had two and a half, that would, that would give us a very good chance of getting through the devil. Or getting through the, the blue baby fight. Getting through the devil? What am I talking about here? Makes no damn sense. Oh! Oh! Butterbean! <laughs> okay. I'm not going to take it because it's a speed run, remember? A 17 and a half minute speed run. Bloody Lust, just in time to give me one damage upgrade from fighting this motherfucker. Shouldn't be standing here. 
That's how I got screwed against Isaac. Shouldn't be standing there. Oh, this is great damage. Just, oh, fudge. Although, every time we get hit, we're going to respawn with more damage. <laughs> thanks to thanks to Bloody Lust. So we're going to start doing some, some real serious stuff soon. Is our damage real yet, Daddy? No, not really. That was not close enough. I shouldn't be getting this close, but the reason I'm getting close is to drop these bombs. Gemini just blows our cover right off the bat. All right, our damage is acceptable now. Wow. Lucky dodge. And we have nothing to fear except fear itself for now. Pretty soon we'll have something to fear. We haven't gotten the maximum damage bonus out of uh, Bloody Lust yet. I'm assuming that Bloody Lust works when you respawn. Otherwise, that would be unfortunate. Oh, fuck. We're like one life away from uh, the Ankh, and I don't even think we'll have, well, we will still have Brimstone, we just won't have the Azazel bonus. But if we don't win on, um, oh shit, if we don't win on the Judas' Shadow one, I'm going to be very sad. So we're no longer Azazel, now we're Blue Baby, but we got three Spirit Hearts. Which means we get three periods of permanent Polaroid invincibility. So get in there, attack fly. It's your time to shine. Baby, you're a firework. Come on to show them what you're worth. Something to do. You go like up and down after that. I don't remember. Ah, okay. Judas the Shadow then, huh? You know what? I'm starting to think maybe we, uh... Oh, our stats are out of control now. Oh, I don't have a reroll ready anymore. Do we have anything to bring into this boss fight? Fuck you. You're blowing up. <laughs> um, what are our items? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, sweet. Baby Jane. Our damage should be through the Farkin roof right now. I guess we're just going to go for it. It's not really through the Farkin roof. I can't help but notice that it's actually just still pretty okay, all things considered. It's all right. Get some inspirational music playing in your head. What makes a man? Halfway through. Okay, maybe our damage is pretty farking crazy now that I think about it. Now, most important thing, don't let this motherfucker psych you out. When he teleports, that's when you stop moving. You know that song, when I move, you move? This is the opposite of that. When he moves, we stop. Yeah, because we could easily get ourselves killed. We're going to win. So there you have it. Um, there's your um, Binding of Isaac Azazel speedrun. Completed as Dark Judas in 19 minutes and 16 seconds. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. That was a weird one. Are we playing as uh, Eden next? Playing as Lazarus next. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time.